A new Pokemon Go event is on the way with a feature you do not want to miss. Quite possibly one of the best trading opportunities in all of Pokemon Go history. Welcome to the Adamant Time event and also a little bit of a Kanto Pokemon comeback. It looks like this event is going to be all about the nostalgia of Generation 1 and the Kanto region and obviously the 2016 vibes that were the craziness of the first year of Pokemon Go. So here's what's going down. This event will be happening Monday, December 11th at 10 o'clock a.m. to Friday, December 15th at 8 o'clock p.m. There's featured Pokemon, including Vulpix, Ponyta, Krabby, and Voltorb, with the verbiage in the post being, the following Pokemon commonly encountered in 2016 are returning to roam in the wild. Kind of an interesting way to make, like, not boring spawns, but kind of boring spawns, like make them sound a little bit more exciting, but that's cool. The event bonus will be three times XP for catching Pokemon, so if you are not level 50 yet, or even level 40, this is a fantastic opportunity to get a ton of XP and get yourself leveled up. Wild Encounters, as expected, are very Kanto region Generation 1 feels, and they include Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Vulpix, Oddish, Ponyta, Krabby, Voltorb, Coughing, Rhyhorn, and Goldeen. And if you're lucky, you might find a Dratini in the wild. All of these Pokemon obviously can be shiny, and it's kind of cool to see Dratini as a rare spawn, because back in my day in 2016, Dratini was a very rare spawn, and it was very cool to find. So it's cool that we got this back. Also, Ditto will be appearing as more Pokemon, and they include Oddish, Coughing, Rhyhorn, and Goldeen. Ditto can be shiny, and it is necessary to catch for some special research quests, so if you still need your Ditto, or if you don't have a shiny Ditto, this is also a great event to hunt it, although I don't think Ditto's shiny rates are raised, so it'll still be hard to find, but it's there. Raids for this event are Generation 1, and include in the 1-star raids, Staryu, Omanyte, and Kabuto, the 3-star raids, Chansey, Scyther, and Snorlax. When it comes to the meta-relevancy of the raids, Ah, you know, like nothing super worth it. Maybe Scyther for like Mega Scizor. And in terms of the meta relevancy of the wild spawns, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle are all amazing Pokemon to catch and get candies for because their evolutions all have Megas and those Megas are all very good. Everything else is kind of whatever. Tritini's cool for Dragonite though. Actually, catching Rhyhorn uh, is great for Rhydon because Rhydon is one of the most budget-friendly, meta-relevant rock-type Pokemon in the entire game. So. Rhyhorn's also great. There will be a timed research focusing on catching uh, Pokemon and leveling up and getting XP, and you'll be able to complete this until the end of 2023. It's kind of crazy to think that the year's almost over. Oh my god. You can complete these research tasks by reaching level 10, level 20, level 30, and level 40, and receive items in Stardust at each milestone. Obviously, if you already passed some of these levels, you'll automatically get those milestones. Kind of excited to see what could be in the rewards for this. Maybe some exclusive Pokemon counters? Who knows? But this will be available until December 31st at 11.59 p.m. There will also be event-themed field research during the event focused on adding friends, which is interesting. But you can complete the field research to earn XP, Stardust, and balls, Ultra Balls specifically. And the field research Pokemon encounters will include Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Vulpix, Abra, Machop, Geodude, Ponyta, Ghastly, Krabby, and Voltorb. With the most meta-relevant Pokemon out of those being Ghastly for Mega Gengar, Machop for Machamp, Abra for Mega Alakazam, and then obviously Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle for their respective Megas. There will also be the Timeless Travels Special Research, which is like a season-long research, I'm assuming, um, and that's going to be available to work on and complete during this event. And there will be Pokestop Showcases, uh, with Krabby, Vulpix, Ponyta, Voltorb, and Ditto. Now, let's talk about the biggest feature of the event, the trade feature, and this is really, really important. To understand how this feature is working, you have to understand how lucky, guaranteed, lucky Pokemon trades work, and these aren't lucky trades. Basically, if you have Pokemon from way back in the day, talking 2016 and I think 2017 as well, and you have less than 15 total lucky Pokemon in your entire account, if you trade one of those old 2016 or 2017 Pokemon, that trade will automatically be lucky. You will automatically create a lucky trade. This is the only way to guarantee lucky trades in Pokemon Go without having or having to be lucky friends with someone. This is like a huge, like not very known secret. This is an absolute glitch to get really, really good Pokemon. And for the first time in a long time, this feature is being expanded. The number of guaranteed lucky Pokemon people can get in trades has gone from 15 all the way to 25. And beginning Monday, December 11th at 10 o'clock a.m. with this event, if you trade a Pokemon that's been in your storage since 2018, it is guaranteed to become a lucky Pokemon until your 25 limit is reached. And this change 
is permanent. This is huge and there are some massive meta relevant implications to this, especially considering there's a lot of very cool Pokemon that came out in 2018, including a lot of shinies. Now, the I, I don't quite know the answer to this, but I have more than 25 lucky Pokemon and have gotten more than 25 lucky Pokemon in my career. So I don't know if this doesn't apply to me because I have over 25, or since I already have my, you know, I already traded from like my 15 guaranteed luckies, I can get another 10 guaranteed luckies if I trade from 2018. I'm actually not sure on this. Somebody can let me know in the comment section down below, but I, when this update happens, I will definitely be trading and testing it out. So make sure you're subscribed here to find out with me because this will be awesome. But what I wanted to do is open Pokemon Go and look at my Pokemon that came out in 2018. So if I do age 2018, wait, sorry, year 2018, it will show all the Pokemon in my account that I got back in 2018. As you can see, I mean, we've got shiny Bulbasaur, shiny Charizard, shiny, uh, what is this? Squirtle, there's Pikachu, there's a ton of really, really cool ones here. We've got Gengar shiny. And the reason why this is so important is because so many people have a lot of shinies that were caught. There were shiny legendaries that were caught back in 2018. So if you want to go absolutely crazy with this feature, and I really recommend you do, go through your Pokemon that you got back in 2018, whether it's shinies or normal ones. Again, there was unknown released in 2018. I have a lot of unknown. Oh my god. Exclamation point unknown came out back then. Question mark. This is the rarest unknown in the world, by the way. Question mark unknown. Yeah, I've got one that's not traded. Rarest Pokemon, or rar rarest unknown, unknown ever. Whole lot of cool things. Shiny Tyranitar, with Tyranitar being one of the most meta-relevant Pokemon in the game, and the Shiny. You could trade that. There's some really, really good ones. Metagross. Oh god. And then obviously we had legendaries like shiny freaking Kyogre, there's Rayquaza there, Giratina, Frostlass. So what you're gonna wanna do is find the Pokemon from 2018 that you deem really, really good. Then you're gonna have to find a friend <laughs> who also has good shinies or good legendary or good big Pokemon from 2018. And you two are gonna wanna trade your OG 2018 Pokemon. Again, I don't know if you just have a guaranteed like 10 lucky trades or if you already have over 25 luckies then this doesn't apply to you. I, I always forget with this feature. But let's assume that we all get 10 free lucky trades from 2018 Pokemon. What are the best Pokemon to trade? I would personally recommend Shiny Tyranitar. And the reason why is because lucky trades have a 1 in 64 chance of being a 100% IV, which means through lucky trades, if you trade a Shiny, you have a 1 in 64 chance of getting a Shundo. And Tyranitar obviously has a Mega, and the, I'll just Mega Ball this right now because it's free. Mega Mega Tyranitar, A, looks amazing, and B, is actually one of the most rele meta relevant. Oh, I needed a, I got a mega level up. Nice. It's one of the most meta relevant mega Pokemon in the entire game and Pokemon in general. It is super duper worth having. So if you have any old Tyranitar or Larvitar or Pupitar, specifically Shinies, I would recommend trading or swapping those from 2018 to do that. Obviously, Mewtwo came out back then. We didn't have Shiny Mewtwo, but we did have regular Mewtwo. This is like the OG release of it. So if you still have these guys, and you want to trade and maybe get a lucky uh, or a lucky hundo, that one's great too. Mewtwo, very meta relevant. Rayquaza is a great bet because obviously we've got Mega Rayquaza now, although it can't be shiny from back in 2018. So normal Rayquaza will do. Metagross happens to be one of the most meta relevant Pokemon in the whole game, especially Shadow Metagross. So obviously you can't trade shadows, but you can trade shinies. So trading a shiny Metagross with another shiny Metagross can maybe get you a Shundo of this amazing Pokemon, would recommend. Charizard, obviously an amazing option because Mega Charizard is a thing and it's very meta relevant. So trading a shiny Charizard from back in the day, getting that maybe guaranteed lucky, that one in 64 Shundo, chef's kiss. Other great ones include shiny Kyogre, shiny Ho-Oh, shiny Blastoise, shiny Articuno, Salamence, shiny Venusaur, shiny Gengar. And yeah, those are the good ones for sure. So don't miss out on this event. Don't miss out on this new update and feature because it's awesome. And good luck on your trades. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.